the uniforms of the student nurse were rigid and covered them from head to toe. Their cap, which for so many years symbolized nursing, was designed by a merit graduate in the 20s. We wore a bishop collar. Do you know what a bishop collar is? They stand up and they were starched and they were two, mine was two inches. And when you finished, uh, everybody had a ring around their neck. Subtle changes were made to the uniform every few years, but the basics remained throughout the 40s and 50s. We still wore our stripes and our aprons. We had blue and white stripes, which is one of the reasons I put this blouse on this morning, because this is what our under blouse looked like, and then we had a, an apron that was over that. We had stiffly starched cuffs and collars that we put on with cotter keys. We always had to wear white stockings and have our shoes polished, our shoelaces cleaned. Your hair could not touch your collar. If your hair was long, it had to be up in a net. You could not wear any jewelry. Makeup was limited to very, very mild, if any, makeup. The, the restrictions were, were great in those days. When I came into training, you were issued so many uniforms. I don't remember how many, but they were to last you the entire three years. They were pretty ratty by the time you got ready to graduate. The daily routine was also strict. Wake up alarm sounded at 6 a.m. Chapel in full uniform at 6.25 a.m. And it maybe only lasted for 10 minutes, but there was a Bible reading and a prayer and a song. And then we were to line up outside in front of Fairley Hall to be inspected. The importance of the image of the student nurse was stressed daily. However, if you were askew with something and you went back up to your room, uh, you missed breakfast and went on duty with an empty tummy. Part of the daily routine for the student nurse was the raising of the flag. However, on a student's graduation day, after completing three years at Samuel Merritt, the flag was raised specially in her honor. It was a lovely, just a beautiful time. If you wore your first white uniform, and it had to be standard too. You had full skirts, you know, just a little bit. And we were given a corsage of red roses. And Miss Selden, the superintendent of nurses, uh, pinned them on us and, and had some little special word for each special person. 